What we're going to do is we're going to look at how we build our pages using Wix for our assignment. Now, I've done it as an explanation of the science, but it could apply just as much for your environmental science one. So what I've done in my pages is I've made my standard 3.2. And what I've done on standard 3.2, I've just put in a title. I've um, put in the explanation of it. I've then made a button as well as I put in a quick little summary. Now on my button, what I've done is I have linked it to a new page. So what I did, I actually made a page and I called it Science FPD. So I'll go back and I'll just show you what I've done up there. So on my pages, there is one called Science FPD. If I go to Manage Pages, you'll see that what I've actually done is a Science FPD. See how it has that little eye with the line through it? What that means it is it's a hidden page, which is great because it means that then no one can see it in the other drop down menus. It's only your eights or standard, but it's just sitting in there. The way that I make it hidden is I literally go and toggle between show and hide. So now it says it's hidden, whereas standard 3.2, that one is shown, whereas my science FPD is hidden. So if I go back to my 3.2 page, all right, I've made a button. I link that button to my science FPD page. So then when I go to my science FPD page, I've put in chemical science FPD. I now want to add it in the way that you might have seen some people do it as part of Weebly. There's one extra step. So if I do a standard in here, and then what I can do is I can add in all different kinds of things. But what I'm going to actually do is go to this next one. And what I want to do is I need to add in a PDF viewer. So I, this is the Wix app market. I go into PDF viewer. Dun, 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 dun. And it adds it in. Now, it kind of has just put it right smack in the middle of the page. I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And I'm going to move it all the way across. So that way my forward planning document will take up the entire room that I've allocated for it. So I click in. And I'm going to upload a PDF. All right. So what that means is that it's looking for a PDF for me to upload. So I'm going to upload some media. So I'm going to upload from my computer. Now I'll just show you what happens if I upload. Um, yeah, I'll just do it with my outline and then I'll need to find one that's an actual PDF. So if I upload it as a doc, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll just see what it says. All right, it's just taking a little while and I'm going to go and add that to the page. So it says the file you selected is not a PDF. It has to be a PDF. So what I need to do, if it's a Word document, I go into Word and I just save it as a PDF. So I go upload a PDF and this time I go and find my media, upload from my computer. I make sure that the one that I have selected is a PDF. All right, so I'm just going to add in that one. So now it's going to go through that upload process again. And then hopefully it'll go, yes, you're a lucky little camper and I'll let you turn it on. There we go. So this is some planning documents for another unit that I've got. Now on this end at the back end, you won't be able to scroll, but trust me that they are in there. So then once I hit publish on my document, all right, I'm going to go and view my site and it was sitting under standard 3.2 and you can see that nowhere there is a science one. So I go to standard 3.2, I click science FPD, it flashes away and then there is my document that I can read. See, nice and nifty, isn't it? So it's a really simple way of doing it. Back on my editing part, I can then go all the way under it. And if I need to add in something else, I'm going to make this just a smidgy bit. It's 
smaller. All right, so now I'm going to add in that again. So as I said, I don't go to the normal add. I go in and I want to search for PDF. So I go to PDF viewer, PDF viewer, add again, move it all around. I can move it off to the side, add in a title and I might put my evaluation in there or my resources. So magic trick, not this add, add apps. All right. And then we add in a PDF viewer. So that's how you're going to be able to add up any of your documents.